A very common question people ask on my Govi videos is, do they make a Y connector so I can branch strings in two different directions? The short answer is no. Govi doesn't make a Y connector because the lights are intended to be connected end to end in one continuous line for the data to flow from the controller to each light in succession. But it is possible to make your own Y connector. I made one using the splicing connector from the Pro Kit. But will it work? I don't know. Let's find out. In this video, I'm going to test it with the Pro and Standard Edition lights to see what happens. All right, so these are Govi original outdoor lights, the uh, the original standard version, not the Pro version. And they only come in white. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hook this up here. All right, I just press and hold the button for five seconds and that resets it. And it automatically goes through this startup sequence and then it just cycles through. Now what I'm gonna do is take a second string, find the end here, and this one goes here. Now you can see they're not lit, right? Only the first string is lit. So what you have to do in that case is just press and hold the button on the controller. And it goes through that sequence. And what it does when it flashes those lights, that's how it knows how many LEDs are on this, the entire house. And that way it knows how long the string is. So if I plug another string onto this, same thing will happen. Now you can see they are not lit. But, I get asked one of the most common questions that people ask me, is it possible to split my line into two? Can I branch it in a Y? Is there such a thing as a Y? So what I did is I took this cable. Now I know this is black because this is from the Pro Kit. But I took the splicing kit and I had already cut this uh, short cable um, in my original comparison video because I wanted to demonstrate how the, the splicing kit works. But all I did was I basically took, this side is male, this side is female, it had a male and a female, and I added another male to it, okay? Because the female comes off of the first string. So what that means is I'm going to take it off of here, and this side is the male, and this is the female. I'm going to put this together, okay? And you can see here that the Pro version cables are compatible with the original. All right, now I'm gonna turn it back on. And you can see it is doing its thing here. Now remember, if I plug this third cable in here, nothing happens, it doesn't light up, okay? But if I plug this third cable into the other side of this Y, Look at that. It works. Now, what are we seeing here? Well, let me give you a different pattern here to demonstrate what is exactly, what's actually going on here. So what I've done is I set up a pattern so that I use one red pixel and I have it just simply chase through a sequence from the start of the string all the way through to the end. And it goes through to the last pixel this is the very end, right? So this is the last pixel. And after that one lights up, it goes back over here. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this third string and I'm going to plug it in here and watch what happens. You see what I'm seeing? So this one, it goes through the sequence. It comes to this string and it goes through both of these in parallel. So that's what happens when you do a Y split, is it goes through in parallel. So the pattern will be exactly the same on both of them. It's just a mirror image of the second string. Now you can do this if you really think this is what you want. But that means these two strings are always going to do the same thing. Always. Always. You can't change it. All right, now let's try the same exact test with the Pro Lights. Now the Govi Pro Kit, you have to set the number of segments that you have. It asks you for the number of green lights that you see. 
and the last pixel on each string is green. And so I set it so that there's two strings. That's all, I see two green lights. All right, so here I have my red test set up again. It's one single red pixel that just goes through all of the lights. And I'm gonna plug this in and it should not light up at all, which it doesn't. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna disconnect this and let's plug in, here's the female on our Y. And then I'm gonna plug this one in here. And let's just verify. Yes, you can see it's sequencing through all of these. Now we're gonna take this one and I'm gonna plug it in here. I wanna separate these so you can see them better. Okay, so it goes through this and then it goes through both of these at the same time. So the test works for both, whether you're doing it with the Govee Pro or with the Govee Originals. The only difference is that the Pro came with this splicing kit. If you don't have the Pro version, you're gonna have to splice the wires and make them watertight yourself. But again, this is a one-time decision that you, if you wanna create a Y, you will have, these lights will always be doing the same effect. And what you're gonna have to do is set them up for the longest, because these don't necessarily have to be the same length. You could actually cut one of them, but you have to set it for the longest one. And I hope that makes sense. But this is a permanent decision. And if you're okay with it, and you want this always doing the same thing, then you're fine. But you'll never be able to chase them like this from one side of your house to the other. It's always gonna do like if these were two different peaks, they would always do the same effect. If you're okay with that, you can make a Y. Now that you know you can create a Y connector with limitations, would you ever do it like this? What do you think? Leave me a comment and let me know. And you can also tell me if you have any other ideas for additional videos. And please give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and I'll see you in the next one. Hey there, if you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon to be the first to know when new videos are posted. Look for Handy Dad TV on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram, and visit the website handydad.tv for more great ideas and information.